Daddy. Big Daddy. Come Big Daddy's in. like, it's another funny character in the film. It's despite <laughs> that, that funny clip you just saw. Okay. Nah, this is played by Don Jones. It's, well, he's, I guess he's a... Uh, I guess he's famous for doing Western films. I mean, I, I, I don't research much of Don Johnson. The last film I seen him in was a Machete, where he's the uh, that ranger for Robert De Niro, where he's taking all the immigrants and sending them back to Mexico or killing them. But, uh, but Don Johnson's performance is pretty good. There's another funny scene later on in the film where he's uh, around a group of Ku Klux Klan is going to chase Django oh and Dr. God. King Schultz. I know, I and, thought that was funny. And, Jeho and Jehona Hill is also in their film, too. He has it's more of a cameo appearance in the film as well. And, well, let's go back and, and talk about it's, uh, the bad things about Django, which I don't want to do that because this is like the perfect Western film for me. Despite me being an African American, don't assume I like this movie because you know <laughs> I like it because of its quality. What do you like? What I like about the movie, in yeah. general, yeah. Mm, takes like I said, it takes me back out of the way they were treated, and then uh, you get the story how uh, back and forth. It gets me interested. I want to watch it. I want to watch. It. Yeah. Like in the theater, you know, I didn't want to go to the bathroom. I miss the part, you know? Yeah, the movie was that wrong. good, but also kind of disturbing and vile as the movie goes on. Uh, also, when I was when I, when I saw it with, uh, with a group of people in the movie, a lot of people thought the movie was over after the shootout, because there's a scene, because the movie, because uh, after two hours and 20 minutes, the movie goes on for another 30 minutes, which people, some people think the movie felt over long. I mean, some people agree the movie was over long. I mean, to me, honestly, I didn't want the movie to end because I was enjoying it that much. But it felt like right after a certain scene in the film, like it's one of the greatest shootouts ever. Oh my produced, God. I love that. that. Uh, it seemed like the movie was going to be over. <laughs> like after that, after this epic shootout, this epic battle, he thought the movie was going to be over. Turns out the movie goes on for 30 more minutes. A lot of people were waiting for the movie to, 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 to end. Because, yeah, especially at the very end, the movie goes on for three more ways. People were leaving. People were like, okay, dude, this, this movie is really enjoyable, but people just thought, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people, when they go see this movie and they check it out, they're going to think the movie is going to be over. I mean, it, it feels long. I mean, it's, it's Quentin Tarantino's longest film to date. Also, the biggest film he's ever made. But I didn't have a problem for its length. I actually kind of wanted to see the deleted the scenes that the, that he takes out of his films because he advertises them in the in the trailers, and they never and he never shows them on the Blu-ray on the DVD. I mean, when, when I went to go see uh, Glorious Bastards, I really wanted to see if he if if he was going to do a director's cut. He never does director's cuts. Usually, directors never do director's cuts sometimes because they're they they are appreciative of what they put. Screen. Screen they right. never want to, another version, like, no, this is the film I want. That's how, how it's going to be. How it's going to be, how's it going to play? Yeah. Now, uh, what else is it? Well, like, you know, Broomhilda, you know how. Yeah, Broomhilda is the weakest character. Like, oh. like why did he, um, I guess it was a story about the name that he tells with uh, Django, the, you know, Jane Fox who plays Django, the story about, you know, how did he know the name was German before? He didn't know he had a German lady, you know, by the name. He, he was shocked. Yeah, of course, yeah, Christoph Hoff was shocked because there was a German descent during uh, the uh, slave trade, the, uh, the slave time. I also loved uh, Samuel L. Jackson's performance, despite I didn't like his character. Now, there's a certain scene in there where you kind of can't tell whether DiCaprio or Samuel Jackson are the leader. And I got a little thrown off a little bit, especially the second time I saw it in theaters. Because uh, I couldn't tell whether if uh, Samuel Jackson was the leader or, or like some, some kind of syndicate part. Because in the character Samuel Jackson plays, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, Steven. Steven. Seems like his character pretty much raised Leonardo DiCaprio, and 
at some point, it doesn't seem like DiCaprio's character doesn't look up to him as a father figure, but more as a person to, to uh, wise for, for, for advice. Advice. For, for more advisedly wise decisions for DiCaprio can make, depending on the situation that, ha that occurs within his household. But Samuel Jackson's performance is pretty cool, funny. The, like, there's some funny scenes in the movie, but also disturbing. Especially the scene where uh, this one state gets eaten by a dog. I'm not going to explain in detail. You guys got to see the movie. The cool. I know. Roof. <laughs> yeah, there's a part in the house where most younger generations didn't know where they're in the house and they're holding candles in the house. And they're like, well, they're having candles. And they got to remember it at, at that time of age, it, they didn't have lights. Yeah, if yeah, you check yeah. your history books and the slavery movies that you've seen, other than this, then you'll get an idea how it was, especially if you studied in school, of course. They had the candle and they put it to the side, that was their life. And people were like, uh, how come they're walking with a candle? I'm just glad when I saw this, not an African American person stand up and just be like, yeah, start cheering right after the movie. This, I don't know, there would have been racial uh, tension building up in the film. That's, that's probably why people don't probably won't like this film. It's because they think the movie is like a retaliation for African Americans, despite its exaggeration and uh, it, its content that the film has. In the film, uh, when you're watching it, what do you feel about the people that were walking as slaves in the movie? Always looking at Django Four on the horse. Yeah, they, they, I mean they never seen uh, uh, by close uh, uh, a nigga like him before. It's because he's a Freeman. His name was Django Freeman, which Jamie Fox did a good role. I mean, he, he was cool as Django. Everybody in their roles was pretty cool. I just wish some of the characters that Quentin Tarantino has, because sometimes in his films he has so many characters that he sets out the story for. Him. Not all these characters were memorable. Maybe except for DiCaprio and Christoph Waltz. He's a performance in there are top notch. Oscar worthy performance and congratulations for Christoph Waltz from winning for Best Supporting Actor and Quentin Tarantino for Best Screenplay. So pretty much what we're gonna do, we're gonna sum up um, what we think of uh, uh, our conclusions to the film. Basically the movie will have you controversies. Know you kill people. About seeing the N word a lot of times. Some people think the movie is going to be the wrong. Word. Sometimes people are not going to handle this graphic violence. When, when the violence happens, for especially the if it's a shootout, so gosh, blood pops out like you've like seen it. But you do. And sometimes Quentin Tarantino's film does seem kind of cartoonish because he plays so much of these tributes to other films. And he shows them in there that. It seems kind of cartoony, especially with Kill Bill, Glorious Bastards, especially I thought it was so designed. And this movie feels kind of cartoony. Not a lot of people are going to feel that. Or are not going to feel respect for that because it does feel My name is Dr. King Schultz. Already cartoony. Oh no. You got a That's a good bit of fun. Yeah, I'm on the side. 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 I'm on the you silver like, devil. Yeah, like one of the stars. They playing your ass. Yeah, basically, well, I found it as a. Not thinking since I see the cartoon. I mean, it did. I did feel that that character was cartoon. You know, he was just there as shadowy as a, as, a, as Candy's like right hand, household, whatever. It's kind of cartoon. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, he's got a Bring any extra bags. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because every time, if it's a character, Quentin Tarantino wants to give some kind of personality twist to the character. I mean, I kind of see that where other people are going. Again, all that character is there. Quentin, I feel, you gotta get have uh, so that's what I'm have doing. a story to every character. Like, you know, that's what I'm doing. Quentin Tarantino is like, I'm not going to be a good guy. 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 I'm not going to be a good gu
But this movie is recommended. The D is it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. However, it's, it, to me, it's one of the fans who watch the film. Plus, um, plus, plus, plus when the action scene happens, <laughs> it's riveting. So, I want to give this movie a five stars because I'm still thinking about this movie, even though it came out back at Christmas. I love this movie. Five stars on me. Oh, yeah, five stars. You know, when I started watching, I was like, uh, three, uh, four. But yeah, I have to agree with you. Yeah, five stars. Yeah, there we go. Five stars. Come on, let's There's do it. no one who appreciates the value of Strong Dice, but it's really, really our favorite stars. Western, Django Unchained. You know? And I was like, uh, three, uh, four, uh, nah, let's give it a no, five. No, no. five stars. Give it a five stone. Yeah, so we're almost to the ending time of this little movie review. Is there anything you want to say? Well, there are a couple of movies I'm looking forward to this year. Some of them are independent films, some of them are mainstream films. I mean, I mean honestly, well, there, well, we'll have another discussion on this, on, 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 on films. Yeah, well, but here's one of the films that I'm looking forward to seeing this year. This film is from Terrence Mollick. He's known for the thing right now. You shall love, whether you like it or not. Emotions, they come and go like clouds. Love is not only a feeling. You show love. To love is to run the risk of failure, the risk of betrayal, you fear your love has died. It perhaps is waiting to be transformed into something higher. Vegas to Paris in three seconds. What do the kids call it these days? Oh, magic. The first rule of magic, always be the smartest guy in the room. Your bank was the distraction. Now they set up the real trick. Expose them now and destroy them. Hang on, hang on. I've got nothing. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the delay. Whatever this grand trick is, it was designed a long time ago. And I believe that what's about to follow is really going to amaze. Look closely. Because the closer you think you are, the less you'll actually see. That's what I want to see. Come on, check that out. Directed by the guy who directed one of my favorite daily movies. 